James Gunn has basically now listed out the three actors. There might be more, but it sounds like it's just going to be these three. Three actors who have been playing characters in the DCEU and will also be playing those characters in the DCU. Those characters are Viola as Waller, John Cena, not me, uh, as Peacemaker, and Sholo as Blue Beetle. He has mentioned now, it's important to note, like a story we covered earlier, that James Gunn has already, first he laid down the ground rules that nothing in the old DCU is canon. There might be some things that are similar to it a little bit in the new thing, but it's not connected. It's not canon. So that means the show that we're going to see playing Jaime, it's going to be essentially a new Jaime. Uh, the Waller we're going to see is a new Waller. They, she may act the same, but it's not connected in canon to the old DCU. And John Cena's Peacemaker is going to be Peacemaker, but the events of the Peacemaker TV show are not going to be canon. Although, I wonder if they're going to call the next season of Peacemaker, Peacemaker Season 2, or if it's going to be a completely new thing, much like Daredevil is a new thing. And they're not calling the new Daredevil, Daredevil Season 4. Um, I'll tell you what. My personal preference is if you are rebooting, go clean slate. Replace all the actors. Even though I love John Cena's Peacemaker. And obviously the iconic Viola Davis as Wall. You know, all, I get it that... The baseline for me is if you're going to do a reboot, replace everybody. I mean, they tried rebooting. Um, why am I freezing on the name of the skeleton that rides the motorcycle? Uh, Ghost, Ghost, Rider. Ghost Rider. Right? They rebooted Ghost Rider, but they kept Nicolas Cage <laughs> as Ghost Rider. So it was like, I mean, all right. And uh, those are a couple of friends of mine that made that decision. But anyway, I'm still okay with it. Because I think if you make it clear that the universe is new... And you're not keeping the same actors for Batman and Superman and, and stuff like that. I think it's not going to be all that confusing to the audience, to be honest with you. Like, I know every, we always worry, I'm myself included, that the audience is going to be totally confused. They tend to pick up on it within about the first 30 seconds and they get what's going on and everything is then fine. So... I, I'm good with it, especially when you got, like, again, a legendary performer like Viola Davis, when you got somebody who's just killed it as Peacemaker with John Cena. And listen, we all said from the very beginning, Blue Beetle was going to totally bomb, and it did. But Sholo playing Jaime Reyes was really charming and delightful. And here's the, here's the kick of it. This is the, this is the silver lining of the flopping rainbow, okay? <laughs> flopping rainbow. I know that. Nobody was... saw Blue Beetle. Nobody saw him. Nobody went to go see that movie. So for most people, Sholo playing Jaime Reyes is going to be a brand new thing anyway. <laughs> I, I know that's kind of stretching for the, for the silver lining, but it's true. Nobody went to go see that movie, so it'll be fine. Um, I just don't want to see 15 actors who were playing the role before to come in. Now, now I listen, I've already heard from a lot of people saying, John, you're a big Henry Cavill guy. If they're bringing back John Cena to play Peacemaker, does that piss you off? And they're not bringing back Henry to play Superman? No, because I understood they're trying their their Superman is that they want to tell in this universe is going to be a younger Superman than what Henry Cavill is. Character comes first. I've always said that, and even if it means my beloved Henry Cavill, who I got right here on my desk, <laughs> if that means my beloved Henry Cavill, listen, character comes first. The actor should never come first the actor should never come first there's a lot of eye contact for right over this one <laughs> yeah. it was like yeah. wow Chris. No, I mean, but the character <laughs> comes first and and if in this new story henry isn't a fit for the character because he's aged out of it or whatever that, that's fine go ahead recast it just don't do it with a whole ton of them do it with a couple if it makes sense that's fine but um you know what these are three good names to bring over and I, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris i don't know where you're at like when it comes to rebooting because the earlier story we talked about sounds like james gunn is basically saying this is a reboot because nothing in the dcu was canon yeah but, but still bringing over a couple of the actors. I mean, it sounds like Jason Momoa is going to come over, but probably not playing Aquaman anymore. Probably it's probably, gonna I mean, be we're Lobo. all guessing it's going to be Lobo, right? Yeah. That's our guess. But uh, what do you think about Cena, Viola Davis, Sholo? Like, what do you think? I love that trio. I'm very excited about them. Viola Davis, I think, is an incredible get for Waller. When that first happened, it was I just... I can't believe they got her, Well, and, and also, we keep having her in all of these different versions. So why not? She's the, she's the mainstay. She makes sense. She's fantastic in this. And she plays the role so wonderfully. John Cena, who would have thought that Peacemaker would be what it is? Right? One of the. Not me. Certainly not, not me. me. When yeah. that show got announced, it was, okay, what the fuck is James Gunn doing? And it's brilliant and wonderful. And James Cena is proving that if you really James give him. Cena? Some, or John, John Cena. That's a John Cena. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Sport. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's John Cena. That's their couple name. John <laughs> Cena is proving, too, if you give him like a great script, if you give him a great character, he is somebody to watch. He can really just like sink his teeth into a role. And I think he's got chops and he proves it on that show. He does some beautiful nuanced stuff with a character who also gets to run around naked and has a bald eagle as a best friend. Like the, oh, wasn't the he range is well. He was on Naked, was he in naked yeah. Attraction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, how, that's how he met his girlfriend. It's mm -hmm. so nice. Um, and then Sholo, I think is wonderful. I think it's a shame that a lot of people haven't seen Blue Beetle that a whole lot of a lot of people haven't seen Blue Beetle, but he's great. He does a wonderful job in the role. I think he's fantastic. And another person who I'm excited to see more of in this, I think we can assume Harcourt's gonna show up. Jennifer Holland is fine. Gosh. Jennifer Let's Holland see. will be James in there. James Gunn's wife. Yeah. Well, she probably, yeah. and I, and or to a her, different character. To her credit, if it is Harcourt, I really like her as that role. I think she has a great job and she plays well off of Cena. So I'm I'm excited to see this. It is a lot of that kind of cafeteria style though that we've talked about with Marvel and the Netflix properties, right? Specifically Daredevil of, well, we really like Charlie Cox and we really like, you know, Vincent. Vincent D'Onofrio, yeah. But I don't know about everyone else here. Let's see what we can do. And it feels a little bit like that kind of cafeteria styling here. And in both cases, I just need to see it play out to see if it works. Or if when I watch it, I go, this is really off-putting to have the old folks here with the new cast. I don't think I'm going to have that. I'm hoping we just kind of have the reverse of, you know, when uh, when we had Don Cheadle enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Amanda Waller just walks in and she says, yeah, it's still me. Deal with it. And that's what we got to do. There was a similar situation to that with James Bond movies, where we would have new James Bonds. These would be new iterations, stuff like that. Oh, but like the same Oscars and stuff. Yeah, but they, they would have a couple of the same actors playing mm -hmm. the side characters mm -hmm. come in, and it never caused any confusion. Nope. Nobody was thrown off by that. About the Harcourt thing, I will say this. I was already several episodes into Peacemaker before I found out she was dating James Gunn because oh. it was dating at the time. Yeah. I think this was before they were married and I already loved her in the role. Like I loved this character and I loved this actress playing her and I loved her in the role. I think maybe if I knew she was James Gunn's main squeeze at the time, maybe I would have looked at it with a little bit of a, you know, snarky side eye, Yeah, but I loved her in it before I knew she was dating and now married to her. I will admit like when she pops up in Guardians of the Galaxy three, I'm like, 
Really, James? Got to put your wife in there? But what, she's actually really good. I really mm -hmm. like her, so I feel better that I liked her before I knew she was with Gunn. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.